if we let's throw this in there, see what happens. Let's see if this actually works. What the fuck? <laughs> nice. So that looks like an accident now. Hello everyone, my name is Mike and this is Lucius 2. In the first Lucius game, he plays a kid called Lucius who lives with his family in a big mansion and he's the son of Satan. And the whole point of the game is to kill your entire family and make it look like an accident so you get away scot-free. And the game ended with the entire family being killed, the, ha the big mansion is on fire and the police come. Lucius is the only survivor so they take him to the hospital and now this game takes place directly after the first game. So we're on our way to the hospital, hopefully to kill more pe innocent people. So let's jump into this, guys. The whole house burned down to the ground, and we couldn't save them all. I managed to get the boy out, and at that time I was convinced it was his father Charles who was behind the murders. In these situations, the procedure was to take the boy to psychiatric evaluation, so I headed to St. Benedict's Hospital, the very same hospital he was born in. It was only fitting to visit it once more. He was sitting quietly in the back seat, staring at me through the mirror. When we arrived just before the nurses came to get him, he leaned forward and whispered something into my ear. The hair on the back of my neck stood up as I was overwhelmed with emotion. The whispers kept running through my head that this was no ordinary kid at all. As I returned to my apartment, I started to put the pieces together. They were all pointing at the boy. How could I not see this before? Was Charles right all along? Was I actually helping the devil's son? Yes. You finally understand your place in all this. You're him, aren't you? Come now. You have been able to sense it all along. Deep inside you, there's been something telling you to do the right thing. But I'm... I'm Catholic? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so am I. We are all just part of his plans. My job is to make things slightly more interesting. And me. I'm also just a part of the plans. Eh? You have done what you are supposed to do, and you are going to do a lot more. We are only getting started here. And look at it this way. You are just serving the Lord in the end. He is the one who actually devised the upcoming rapture. I'm just putting my little twist on the whole thing. We are all just fulfilling his wishes here. So... Just relax, and listen to what I have come up with for the boy now. <laughs> I was conflicted, but eventually I had to give in. All along I've been a servant to the cause. I was meant to travel this world as a off. servant of Lucifer, and to protect his son. Lucifer had a plan that would bring everything together, and it was my job to see after Lucius. He'll have to look for the answers to this little game that's been created for him. The Dark Lord has taken his powers away and leveled the playing field. It will not be an easy task for the boy, but it's all necessary sacrifice that will, in the end, pan out the way it was supposed to. They evaluated the boy and committed him. He had lost his abilities to influence anyone. Thoughts of abandonment were filling his head, and his thirst for blood was gone along with the rewards he'd already been given. It took six months until the boy was woken again. No blood was spilled. Someone up there was happy. It finally happened when they brought two new patients in. They were both rambling about a prophecy. And to make things more interesting, the other one was a woman of the cloth. Immediately, Lucius realized that there was more that he had to do, so in the blink of an eye, he attacked the man. There was a fire inside him again. He was not forsaken. He felt useful again. However, the employees managed to put him down. He was drugged, dragged to shock therapy. The boy had gathered a following throughout the hospital. Some of the patients naturally looked after the boy, but not these employees. They shackled him, 
imprisoned the prince. They laid him down on the bed ready to be shocked. But what they did not know, and what they could not guess, is the answer to a question. What happens when you shock the devil's son? So Lucius seems to be pretty pissed off now. He's been it's gone six months without any powers. He's just got something back there, annihilated everyone. I mean if this guy can do this now, like look at this, he's just destroyed these people, there's blood everywhere. It's game over, right? If I can do this to these guys, I can do it to everyone, surely. My god, I can't believe how much blood there is. Lucius to the prophecy. I'm, aren't we supposed to make these murders look like accidents? Like we were never never even there. And look at the amount of blood and shit. This guy is just pinned to the wall. So we can pick up items, we can put them on it in our inventory. There's some pills right there, we can use them to poison Oh my god, I didn't even see that. I've done the tutorial out of recording just because it's not really interesting to see. So just to learn the controls, um, we can look at items, it tells you what they are. A machine used for shock therapy, one end is on the floor, and the other end is in that guy's face, it looks like. So, uh, we can use it. So it's ready to be used, There's the other end is there. Electric shock rod, electric shock rod, dead body, electrified employee, it looks like he is still holding on some keys. Now he's dropped his keys. Give me them keys. So now we can get outside. Where's the other half of that guy's body? I mean, that's like electricity up there. That's blocked off. Is it just completely disintegrated and like... It's just spread across the walls. I don't even know where his body is. So we can unlock the store. Put the keys away. We don't need to carry it. And what was that on the ground? Devil bobblehead. It's devil bobblehead. Use bobblehead bonus. So we need to break out, don't we? So... What's that? Religious items disable all your abilities. Try turning it without touching it. How can we turn it without touching it? I guess we need some superpowers to do that. Or throw an item towards it. Maybe we can throw a... for the pills. Towards it. But that will... Turn it. Hey! Look at that magic! So we haven't actually got any abilities yet, I don't think, so we don't need to use any. Alright, okay. Is this our, fir our first victim? It's showing a ceiling fan that could be used to kill the guy, I guess. He's put his arm through his body. Um, okay, I think this is showing us a few of the hints of how we can kill the guy. Some writing on the wall over there. Poison the coffee. Electrocute the faucet, break the ceiling fan. They're the three options I think we've got to kill the guy. Um, so the, there's a faucet, isn't it? A sink there. It's connected to the back of this room. There's a defibrillator. Can we put that on there? Yes, you can. <laughs> you have to turn it on. Okay, now the the pipes are now electrified. So if the guy come, has dirty hands and he wants to wash his hands, he might be in for a shock. Where's he coming? And there he is. What's he doing? He's making coffee. Oh shit! Okay. Murder. Why is the fire on the floor? Holy shit, he got burned, didn't he? Look at that! He's like proper... Burned. <laughs> right, stick him to the burn unit. <laughs> Uh, do we have to hide bodies? I guess if people see it, they'll get um, scared, won't they? Okay, no, no, don't. Oh, shit. Go in there. There's no door in here. I think he'll be fine in there. So there's some isolation main key. Isolation main key, you can use this to get out from the isolation. Why is it bouncing? Stop bouncing. 
I don't think we need to have it open. There's a door for the key. Um, kind of food. What's that used for? I think that's just used to throw, you know, to like um, distract people. There's a phone we can use. I guess we could use that phone to um, distract people again. Okay, we broke out apparently. The boy managed to break the shackles. Blood was spilled, and he could feel how the souls were powering him. So, if you look at the map, like this, the clear bits is like we can walk around there freely, and if the, anyone spots us, it's fine. But if we go into a restricted area, you know, these bosses will get snatched or whatever. But you know, we're covered in blood, so it doesn't really matter if um, anyone sees us. It's like, oh, he's got jam all over him. He loves jam. <laughs> yeah, what's this? Men's ward door switch. Okay, that's the objective we need to do. See in the top left, open the doors. Open the children's ward, the woman's ward, and the isolation ward. First thing he did after breaking out was to open up all the other wings of the mental ward. This would allow Lucius to freely roam around, wreaking havoc. <laughs> There's a guy running around. <laughs> okay, so they're like distracting all the guards, I guess, so we can do go around freely. And kind of do what we want. There's a marker on the map there. Talk to the man. That's our next objective. Then after that, we have to find the nuns' nuns room. So if we go towards like we can walk around fine as much as we want around here because you know it's not restricted. It's locked. The end is not coming. It's already here, boy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we need to get and speak to that man. He's um. I don't know why we need to speak to him. Maybe he knows something. Jamie Wilson, where are you going? He's insane. Strong-minded. So we need to find the key to get in there. Um, what's on the wall? Throw the cans, break the hatch. What cans? Right, there's some cans on the thing over here. Compelling items attract person to a spot. Okay, so a wallet is a compelling item. You know, if someone sees it on the ground, they'll go over to it and inspect it, because they, they want free money, don't they? Just picking up all this shit. We might need this in the future. So we can throw a can. Let's get a can out. Um, what's it? That one. So if we throw this at the hatch... We can break it. Uh, okay, electricity wires come down. So we need to compel the guy now to come through. Um, can we put like the wallet on the ground? Where about do I need to put it? Is, is that okay? Because we should put it just a bit beyond it. How do we get the guy to come out? Just open the door, because there's restricted area there. If we open the door and just like... Did he see it? Is he not looking? It's there, mate. Look, look. Ooh, wallet. Ooh, look at that. Why is he panicking? He's run off. Why is he run off? I don't understand. I think the game might be a little bit buggy. <laughs> don't know why. Um, was the guy gone? So we can we just go beyond this area now? I thought we were meant to kill the guy. Oh, he's coming back, he's coming back. Um, the CPC is the wallet. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. Um, what? Okay, this is quite buggy. I don't like this. You're stuck in the door. You said holy shit and he appeared looking at me. Right, forget this compelling item shit. I'm just going to get him to follow us. See if he can walk into this. Where's he going? <laughs> he called me a son of a bitch, and then he walks off. Well, well. Who do we have here? <laughs> okay, that worked eventually. We kind of like had to lure him through. I don't think that's the way you're meant to do it. We did get some keys. Follow a key. 
Let's put the body around here. <laughs> Let's see if we can get some more clean kills, because that was a bit messy right there. Now, there's a quest on the, on the top left that says find your follower, and we got the follower key then. So I think that key is used to um, get the follower, not the actual man, which is the quest now. There's some more people I've seen before. I'm trying to find, find where they where they were. Oh, there's my suit. I don't know why I need this so bad. Would attract way too much attention. Luckily, his old suit was still there. The time had come once again to put it on. Okay. And she told me that I was the problem. Break the shelf. Women can't live with them. Can't kill them. <laughs> hey, hey. Why is the space between a woman's breasts and her hips called a waist? Um. Because you could easily fit another pair of tits in there. <laughs> oh, very good. <laughs> so, a good one, Sam. You can break things by throwing at them or using skills. Throwing an object inside the air duct will drop it onto the other side. Really? What? And that will break the shelf, I guess. Or is it a shelf to be broken? Christ, man. Sick. So I throw this up there. What happens? That's broken now. If I throw it, do I need to throw flammable um, tin cans in there? See, the room that we're in at the moment is not actually a um, restricted area. Ah, I can see, if you look in the window there, in the corner, you can just about see there's a gas hob on, so there's fire there. And um, I think, if we, let's throw this in there and see what happens. Let's see if this actually works. Nice. So that looks like an accident now. Holy shit. Um, am I burning? Am I immune to fire? They don't find all those items. Can I just put it in my bag? My pocket? I don't think I can take damage, you know, because I'm the son of Satan. Now we also got a skill just then, so we can spend it in mental, telekinetic, or heat. Let's, um. Just start with telekinetic, the basic stuff, you know, we don't want to make it too complicated just yet. Still learning the basics. So we can go inside here now. Oh my god, these guys are banned! <sighs> really bad. So there's another key on the ground. Man's room key, so that's the key we were looking for. Uh, is there anything else useful in here? Um, can we turn the fire off? Oh, actually, it doesn't matter, does it? Why am I trying to be, like, tidy? Just make a mess, in it. Why do we need, would we need that, um, shit, would we need the fire axe? Let's just take it, because it might be useful, I don't know. Object is too far. So I've got telekinesis around, right? There we go. I don't know how you use it. I think I just used up all my mana. I don't even know what just happened. What's the queue? Oh, that's the game quest. Um, I don't know why I'd need that. I can't even pick it up to be honest, so... Let's go see the man. We've got the key now. It's got Ludlow written everywhere. The devil. Is that the devil's son, Ludlow? What the devil's even name? I don't know. Soul to the man. Uh, we just level up again, didn't we? We've got another point. Enter the mind of a target and start controlling. I've, I'm going to leave these points for now. I'm going to look into it a little bit and try and figure out what's the best path, best path to take. I think it's all down to your opinion. All work and no play. All work and no play. All work and no play. Who is the dull boy? All work and no play, all work Okay, we don't even, even... What the hell are we coming here for? Let's leave that guy alone. We need to find the nun's room now. We open the map, can we see where about it is? 
It's actually quite, it's on the other side of the whole place. Let's try and find a route that we can take. So go forward all the way till we get to restricted rooms. Then take a left. And then go this way. I think this is a good route to take. There's a guy there. I think that's just a random. He's insane. Strong minded. I bet you there's loads of different ways you can do things in this game. Like shit loads. Like, look at these items I'm not even using. It'd be kinda cool to like redo a level once you know how it works and try and do it a different way. It's not a lot like Hitman, like Hitman 1 and 2. The gameplay of it feels a lot like those games. So we're in a restricted area at the moment. Let's just close these doors, so it's a guard in there. It was a janitor guy. Okay, so that's locked. This next, we killed the nun, didn't we? So we just need to get in her room for some reason. Now, door, janitor has the key to it. Okay, the janitor just walked past. I just seen him. So this is a restricted area. How can we kill the janitor? Where is he? Shit, he's there. Shit. Okay, um... There's some items. Oh god, he's coming. He's coming. He might come in here because he's a janitor, isn't he? Shit. What the hell? Oh shit, he's there. Run! Looks like you can actually evade people pretty easily. Alright, this janitor's walking around. I'm gonna see where he goes in here. See if there's any useful things we can do. Okay. He goes inside that room. And there's a... There's a... An air vent that goes from this room all the way through. So I don't know what is actually in that room because we didn't get to have a look. So we break it open and then maybe we can, we can go around the outside and go in that room and see what is actually in there. So we can see if we can throw something useful inside and you know kill the guy. So there's not much there really. It's a faucet. Alright guys, I think I may have figured out what we can do here. We can do what we did to the other guy in the other room, which was the defibrillator on the sink. We just got one on the um, on some wheels, so we can, if it stops bugging out a little bit, we can pick this up, we can put it on this. There we go. Now that should be electrified. It's turned on. So if the janitor guy, the janitor guy's actually going in there right now, we can see it on the map. Hopefully he washes his hands in the sink. Here we go. <laughs> electricity is one of the easiest ways to kill people. I think we've killed everyone with electricity, well, apart from the two guys that were in that room. So the guy should drop the key now for the uh, the nun's room. And I believe he's in here. Yes, he is. Give me the key. Let's close the door. Give him some privacy. Okay, he's in the way. Never mind. Alright, the nun's room is over here. There we go. Um. The nun's room is filled with religious text. Prophecies of the apocalypse. She was not there. It seemed she'd been taken to the fourth floor, probably for a checkup after the boys' attack. Okay, so we need to go find our follower now. That's the next quest. And I don't know who that is. I guess we'll just follow the marker on the map. Head in the direction it's pointing. Um. Oh god, who's this guy? Was it a girl? We think we already had the key for this room, so we um, didn't have to spend any more time looking for it. So there are some kids that are on the on the ward that are like, look up to Lucius. The boy found him in his father was hanging at the end of a rope in his room. On the floor there was a note that said, Forgive me, for I have chosen wrong. What did it mean? Chosen the wrong god? Or the wrong son? This is a bit wrong, this. Look at this. You can swing a kid round. Oh my god, that is gruesome. That's twisted. Leave the floor. So we're done now. I think the only way you can lose in this game is if a person grabs you and just takes you. I don't think you can actually um, get killed or kill yourself with any of the things. Here we go. Level complete. Chapter 1, level 1. 
So total body count five times busted zero, suspected zero, zero, zero. What stuff for 24 minutes? Took a little bit of time faffing around. Leveled up five times. It's not like okay, my saga tannis, that is that is that my score? Like Silent Assassin when you play um Hitman games. Alright guys, so I think I'll be doing like one mission per video. So that that is that mission complete. We'll jump into the next part in the second mission. So thanks for watching guys. See you next time. Bye!